Our Chickering 1870s Square Grand Piano is very special. Chickering is a Boston company. They produced pianos for over a hundred years. The final Square Grand pianos made in the United States were made in about 1884. A Square Grand piano is a shape that most people have never seen. It predates the upright piano, the ones that stand taller, because they couldn't figure out how to get a piano to stand up tall without falling over. This piano is special because it is rosewood, and it does have the ebony and ivory keys. The ebony are the black keys, the ivory are the white keys. All three of these items are not used in production today because they are very rare. It has ornate carving on the legs. Most square grand pianos were relatively elaborate because they were used as parlor furniture. As you can see, the keyboard is slightly offset to the left. That's just part of how they have to do that to make the strings and dampers and everything work. It has, I believe, 86 keys rather than the standard 88. Some pianos were as short as 68 keys and some had as many as 96. And they finally standardized them to 88 because that was the range where most uh, ears were comfortable hearing. The strings that Chickering used were developed and manufactured by Ichabod Washburn's company. Ichabod Washburn has a connection to Washburn University here in Topeka. The music rack is also fairly ornately carved because this was a piece of furniture rather than just a musical instrument. It was a status for middle class Americans to have a piano because it meant that you were well off enough to get it shipped to you. They were not cheap. And it also meant that your daughter or wife had leisure time enough to learn to play. Boys did learn to play piano as well, but it was more often the women in the family who learned piano. I will demonstrate a couple of songs for you. The first is a piece by Ludwig von Beethoven. He was European, but his music spread around the world and would have been played on this piano in its early years in the 1870s and 80s. you may notice, and you'll have to look down for it, is that this piano only has two pedals. Most modern pianos have three, and they each do different things, but this just has the damper pedal and the sustain pedal. Governor Robinson was the first governor of the state of Kansas, and this polka was written in his honor, and it was written by Andrew Whitney. He was from Massachusetts. And this piece was published in Massachusetts, but Governor Robinson was here in Kansas. This would have been common in the 1870s, 80s, and 90s. was really special to our collection because it was a gift of the Loretta Class family. Loretta Class was a local woman who had traveled and done a lot of things in her life. This was her piano and she is the one who brought it to Topeka. She was a great promoter of music and art and her family felt it was important that this piano be in a repository where it would be appreciated. We use it, we demonstrate it, and we are glad to have it. It is a wonderful representation of a 1870s era piano. It is wonderful to have this musical instrument, both as a musical instrument, as a piece of furniture, and just as a nod to a bygone era. If you are someone who plays piano, we do allow folks to come and play this. We do ask that you ask permission before you just come in and start playing because we are a quiet study area and sometimes we have some serious researchers researching in our room but most of the time we're glad to have people come try it out.
because it's not often you get a chance to play on a piano that's over 130 years old.